big witch. Hello everyone. So today now on the farm, we're just going to be uh, doing a bit of TLC work on the bird netting. Because after all them storms and wind now, we just have a few holes starting to come into it and a few cable ties that went. So we're just going to get that done and put back together now again. So that's pretty much what the scoring jobs are going to be all about. So we just need a few bits of bird netting and a few new cable ties and we'll patch this back up. But apart from that, everything else is still absolutely perfect with it. As you can see, we still have snails now just starting to come out of hibernation now at the minute because we're hibernating there for the last probably two weeks or so with the cold weather. But the milder weather has come back in here in Ireland in winter time. So you can see snails now are just starting to wake up from hibernation now again. So we always like to see them in winter time being awake because when they're awake they're eating and when they're eating they're getting bigger even in the middle of an Irish winter. Always good. So we'll just show you what the bird net now here is like and the little bits of jobs that we have to do now today. So with all the storms and rattling that it all got it just broke a few cable ties now here on the bird netting. So we're just going to patch this up now with new cable ties and all these little holes, we're just going to get rid of them, I suppose, really. So that's all we're doing now for this morning and we'll get that done and that'll be another job then done on the farm. Now, so that's what it will look like, which is all patched up. And all these are, are just two rolls joined together. So this is where the whole seam goes all the way up and you have two separate rolls that we tie together. We've done it all the way through here with cable ties, which to be fair has lasted it was six, seven years now at this stage. It's been up a long time, so the cable ties have lasted an awful long time. If there's a better way of doing bird netting and putting them together, let me know because there probably is a better way of doing it you can just put them in the comments down below and i'll read through them and see it's just the way we've done them on our farm and they've worked well and have done the test of time but the longer they go on now the more this might start happening to where they just start to break with fatigue over time but we'll wait and see because it's the first time now we've really had to do a fair bit of it so don't know we'll have to play that by ear and see but i say if there's a better way let me know and we'll see if we can do it here on the farm. So with that now all done, we'll just clip these off now. And that should be this part of it finished.
So this one now here is all tied up and back seamed good and tight now again. And this is coming into the older ones out here. And they're still all perfectly fine. No tears, no holes in it. So we have to move on to the next row where two sheets join together again now. And just down at the end there as well. Cable tie split. So we'll just go now and we'll patch them up now as well just so that they're all done. Now, so we have another row now here, just where she's starting to get that bit of a hole and another bit just there further down. So we'll come now and we put these back together. So this now is a huge improvement all the way through there, all nice and tight the way it should be. So that will stop all birds from trying to get in. So move on to the next row because we still have another section here to do, just to touch up again. So this one now is the third row that we need to just tear it up and I see a few more little ones now there as we move along that we'll get done as well today while we're at it. So we'll just get this row now here. Done up. And get it finished. Isn't there an awful waste of cable ties? There are the cut off bits. I know we could have used the smaller cable ties, but these ones are way thicker, way heavier. And these have a serious job to do to keep these up in stormy weather. So we use the thicker and heavier ones, but they're all just the cut off bits. Off lot of waste. So welcome to a snail farm in winter time. You always get these little tiny jobs like that that need doing. When you start to get winds and snow and all this comes in, you just have to come out and just tweak and patch up little tiny jobs like that throughout the winter. Nothing big now today, just to patch up that little bit of bird netting. And especially when you see all the snails starting to come back out. Now again, because believe me, last week there was not a snail to be seen. They were all in the ground, buried down, hibernating. And here we are now, a week later, with the weather temperatures rising up that little bit. And they're all back out, all up trying to get their bellies full, and all up eating. And when they're doing that, that's what we like to see. And here we are even in daytime in Ireland, the sun fully out, and all the snails are still out and about and coming up for food because it's a damp, wet, miserable day. We don't like it, but snails love it. Look what I found. 
holes and holes. Now, I'm not the tallest guy in the world. I'm not six foot ten, but there ain't no way I'm reaching that. So, gotta go and get a ladder. And this is the last bit I'll be able to film because GoPro is down to 8%. GoPros aren't designed for cars. So as you can see, the GoPro battery died last night on us. So I had to go and charge it last night now. So we're just back out. So I got that one up here with the ladder done yesterday. So that's all done now and patched up. So we're just having to look through now to see is there anything else that we might have missed somewhere along the line because it is this little small ones just from wear and tear. But apart from that now, we have a lot of work done here and it's all looking a lot, lot better. So I'm happy with it. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below. It's the only way you're going to keep up to date on everything that we do here on our farm. And don't forget to like and share. Because by liking and share, just hit the like button. It helps out our page an awful lot. So thanks guys. I see another bit in here now. Don't know if you guys can see it, but just this here where the cable ties have just broken off this bit here. Only problem is, it's in the middle of the snail pen. How do I go in there without walking or killing snails? So I'm have to go out down here and come up here as delicately as I can just to get under that bit there. So not the greatest, but has to be done. So we're standing in the middle of the snail pins. Which is the place I don't want to be because this is not our area. This is their area. So I don't like ever being in here unless it's harvest time. So yeah, so we'll just get this done and get out and let them continue on and be a lot happier when I'm not in here. Now we have to walk out of here very delicately. Or else you're going to step in a little fella like that. <sighs> Glad to be out. So we just put a few more now on this one right here. Not bad, but just to keep it tighter. It has been getting darker and darker out here for the last 10 minutes or so. So I think we're in for an almighty shower of rain. So I think it's on the way. Bird netting in winter is very important. And that's why we spend so much time doing it up and putting it back and making sure it's right, especially in winter. In winter, birds are hungry. And when we have snails out, like we have here in the middle of winter, like in Ireland right now, we're coming into, uh, we're hitting January. So middle of winter and snails are out and eating in that. So when birds are hungry in winter time, when they're out in the wild, Snails in here are an easy source of food. So that's why bird netting is so important. Keep all the birds out so the snails are happy, continue on eating, getting bigger and being happy. So we protect them as much as we can. So that's why bird netting after storms and snow and all that, it's always a priority to come out and make sure it's all right the way it should be. So we'll wrap up this video now here this week. We'll be back again in a few weeks with another video continuing on the work that we're doing here. Don't forget, hit that like button on the way out. Talk to you soon, guys.